The people that we spend time with and time around have an immediate and direct impact on our energy field and the way that we feel. And likewise, the places we go and where we choose to spend time has an immediate impact on how we feel. So I'd like to invite you into a review process of these two different aspects of life. And the first part of the process is called the circle of respect. If you get out your notebook, draw a very large circle on the page and put yourself at the center of the circle. Just write your name or initial. And then draw another circle inside of the bigger circle. So the inside circle that's immediately surrounding you is called circle A. And the larger circle around that is called circle B. So I'd like to invite you to place inside of circle A, that immediate circle around you, the people in your life who consistently support you and communicate with you in a kind and respectful way. So only those people that are absolutely consistent with their support and respectfulness of you. So people who support your interests, who are there for you in a consistent way. There may only be one or two or three people within that circle. And inside circle B, I'd like you to put the other names of those regular people in your life that you communicate with on a daily or weekly basis that are part of your life. Family, friends, work associates. The rest of the people go inside circle B. So they may be there for you sometimes and sometimes they're supportive and other times they're not able to speak to you in a respectful way or a kind way or be supportive of your interests for whatever the reasons. They're not quite able to do that and be that for you. So you're just naming situations for what they are. There's no judgment at all. Simply certain people may have a lot of issues with themselves and are not able to be there for other people because they're not showing up for themselves. It can be very difficult to be supportive of other people. And how we share with others is another thing to look at because if we have a vulnerable moment or we have something sensitive that's going on with us or maybe we have a great deal of excitement around something really great that has just happened. If we share any of those things with people from circle B, they may not be able to be supportive of us. They could easily get triggered by something wonderful that's happening within your life and not be able to feel happy for you. Because your good news perhaps reminded them of something within their own life. Or they're feeling so down that they can't provide supportive words and encouragement to you. So there may be different reasons why an individual is not able to be consistent with their support or respectful communication. So this is not a judgment. This is simply naming those relationships for what they are. So it's helpful to be mindful around who we share those aspects of our lives with those tender, vulnerable things that we're experiencing, and sometimes the joy of certain things that we're experiencing. If we were to just focus on those that are within circle A with certain types of sharing, then we'll always feel supported, because sometimes if we share certain things with the people in circle B, and they're not there for us, 
can affect how we feel about ourselves. And it doesn't make sense to look for support where support may not be able to be counted on in a reliable way. So how we share and who we share with affects our energy field and how we feel about ourselves. So this is also an invitation to do a, a bit of a review around the people you choose to spend time with. Just because we've had a friendship for 20 years doesn't mean that we need to have people in our lives that are not able to support us in the way that we want to be supported. So this may be an opportunity to release certain people from your life. It's not a judgment, but it's an acknowledgement that sometimes people that are very negative and caught up in their own problems can often bring our energy down and make us feel down about ourselves when we spend time with them. So we sometimes have choices around who we spend time with and the way that we share ourselves with certain people. We have choices around those aspects. So this is just an invitation to do an inventory of who you spend time with who you choose to spend time with and what you choose to share about yourself. Because sometimes when we let people go from our lives, it creates space for others to come into our lives. And when we raise our standards of conduct and how we want to be treated, we can attract other people in that can hold those standards with us where we can have wonderful mutual connections with other people that are in the spirit of supportiveness, where there's no competition or judgment. So we can make choices to bring more of that kind of energy into our lives. So to look at the circle of respect and get real about who's inside of that circle. And maybe you want to make adjustments. And if you really love someone and want them in your lives, you could invite them to a new way of communicating to see if they could come into Circle A. Some people will be able to make adjustments when you bring their awareness to a dynamic. And that's a wonderful thing when we can improve relationships through direct and honest communication. And other times, people may not be able to, to be supportive. So some, some people we can let go of, and other times they may take a different role within our lives, where we no longer share those tender parts of ourselves. Or if we really love someone, maybe a family member, we can be there for them, but we don't have to open our energy field to attack if someone is inconsistent in the way that they treat us. And likewise, the places where we spend time have an impact on our energy. We're spending time in a family environment where there's a lot of aggression or confrontation in someone else's family environment and home environment. That's not really a great place to spend time if you're thinking about uplifting your energy. So when we spend time in dark places, such as nightclubs and bars, places where there's alcohol, and people are not in a conscious, present space, these are low resonant environments that can have an immediate impact on how we feel. So these are just things to consider. Who you spend time with and where you spend time and how you choose to share vulnerable parts of yourself with other people. And also an invitation to make more space in your life to attract people that are consistently kind and uplifting and that really understand
who you are and know how to support you in the way that you want to be supported. These relationships are true gold when we have them. When we have mutual support and kindness and love and respect. Thank you.